Well, good evening, everybody. Come on in. How was your day? How's everybody doing? I don't know what day or what, what day are we on on quarantine? Anybody know? We've been at this for a while. Glad you're here. Come on in. Say hello. Greet one another. They're going to try to get a comments thing up here in a second so I can say hi to you. Um, hit the share button so we can kind of invite everybody in tonight. I hope you had a good day. There's a lot going on, a lot that we're learning, a lot that we're walking through together. But it's good to come together around the presence of the Lord and just, um, and just spend time with Him. I wanted to just give you something to encourage you as we get started here tonight. I was, um, uh, I was just going through uh, a little something yesterday, and I got really frustrated, and I said, God, you know, I thought this situation was handled, and Lord, I'm, I'm trusting you, and you know, we've all been praying through the Passover story. The Passover story has become so real to us, and so, um, so much a part of our journey, and um, in the midst of that, uh, the children of Israel, you know, they, they left uh, Egypt in the Passover story, in the Passover scenario. And, um, but I said, Lord, you know, we're through Passover, and I thought this was all handled. I thought this was all taken care of. And all of a sudden, I remembered that Pharaoh's heart was hardened yet again after the Passover moment. So even after the Passover moment, Pharaoh's heart was hardened again, and again he attacked the children of Israel, even when they were out of bondage. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the frustration? You're out of Egypt. You're out of the, out of the difficulty, out of the plague, and yet at the same time, um, the enemy just keeps attacking you. And, and uh, so... I was encouraged by that. And I said, you know what? It's all right. Even if the enemy attacks us and we're already out of Passover, we're already out of Egypt, God is still going to have his way and have his word um, in that. So we got a lot of folks on. My goodness, we got over 100 of you in already. They're trying to get these comments working for me. Um, but can you take this back for me? And it's, it's just a tiny little corner there, and so I can't read it, and then it's not automatically scrolling. So try to take the comments so that I can see them and that they scroll if possible. And did we bring Instagram on yet? Okay, hello Instagram. I got Facebook here, I got Instagram here. So good to see you guys. We're trying to get ourselves together. Matthew, my courageous, faithful sidekick, is, is a, he's becoming an overnight expert in technology. Lord, we love you. We bless you. We thank you for your grace, God, your mercy. Hey, I wanted to give you one more testimony really quick. Ellie Beer flew last night. God granted him through a very generous friend. Uh, they chartered, a pri they had a private plane with a full medical crew that brought him back to Jerusalem. He's walking. He's talking. We have videos of him. He was three weeks in a coma. We prayed for him almost every day. Many of you prayed for him. It's actually made the news if you Google it, he flew in the private plane back to Jerusalem. He is strong, he's healthy, and God is just doing awesome things. And uh, so we're so, so super glad for that. Hey, really quickly, we want to welcome tonight, this is a special thing, uh, Pastor Charlie Small, who we love. God bless you, Charlie. We love you, Charlie Small. Uh, God's put in his heart and the heart of other leaders a movement called 50 Days of Worship. And uh, every day they're going live with worship during this time, during this season. And so this is the first day that we are a part of that. So this is their daily live worship moment. I love Pastor Charlie. I love God's heart that he's given him and all that he does for the Lord. And so welcome all of the family who are involved in the 50 days of worship. We're honored to be with you guys here tonight and to be a part of this together. So Father, just come and... Lord, we draw near to you tonight. We're thankful, God, for your grace. We're thankful for your mercy.
above all powers, above all kings, above all rulers and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man. tonight, God, you are above this created thing of coronavirus. God, it's part of creation. It's part of the created order. God, you're above it tonight. We lift the name of Jesus high. We crown you with many crowns tonight. We crown you, Lord, high above every circumstance. Above all and all the ways of man You were here before the world began Above all kingdoms Above all thrones Above all wonders The world has ever known Above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what you're took the fall and thought of me above
Listen to this verse tonight. Find rest, my soul, in Christ alone. Know His power in quietness and trust. When the oceans rise and the thunders roar, I will rise with you above the storm. You are king over this flood, and I will be still and know. touched with the feelings of our infirmity. He's touched with our afflictions. He was tested in every way, in every way, in every way, yet without sin. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins 
of the world save us restore the soul of your church God soften our soul renew our spirit soften our soul renew our spirit God clean hands pure heart clean hands pure heart clean hands pure heart breath of God blow upon your church breath of God blow upon your church breath of God blow upon your church breath again wind of Pentecost wind of Pentecost wind of Pentecost Find rest, my soul, in Christ alone. Know His power, quiet. When the oceans rise, thunders roar, I will rise with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood, and I will be still and know you. Our God, 
I will be still, know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. So some of you know, I've talked about this before, that um, uh, a lot of times I will wake up in the morning and I'll wake up um, singing a song that just was in my spirit. You know, throughout the night, I'll just wake up and boom, I'll just hear it first thing in the morning. And I usually can key in and, and understand what kind of day, <laughs> what kind of day it's going to be by what song I wake up with. It's like the Lord kind of prepares me. Uh, it happens a lot. And um, anyway, about, I don't know, I think about four mornings ago, three, four mornings ago, I, I woke up singing a song, but it was the first time ever, 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 ever in my life I ever remember waking up uh, and singing a song that I had written. And it's a song I had written I mean, 30 years ago. Wrote this 30 years ago, and you'll be able to tell it because it's full of 80s chords. Um, but I woke up just singing this song that I'd written, I don't know, I was maybe 20, 21 years old when I wrote this. And I haven't, I haven't sung it since then. Um, but I woke up singing that, and it's been in my heart um, since then. So um, I'm going to try it. It's about 30 years, so... I'm rusty on it, but I'll do the best I can. I'm gonna to try to I'm gonna to try to do it in D here. I'm gonna to try to bring it up a key. D is harder than C because it's got sharps, but it's all right. It's a better key for this song, so we'll we'll try it. All right, will you all forgive me in advance for bad chords? All right, because I'm figuring this out as we go. We gotta get the we'll get these comments figured out in a fix. There's gotta be a better way because they just kind of freeze on me, but we'll leave it. But I love you all. I see you all. 182 of you guys, you're amazing. You guys are blessed. I appreciate you so much. All right, so this is a song I wrote 30 years ago, and it's the first time I ever woke up in the morning singing a song that I, I'd written. It's called New Creation. I long to be of undistracted devotion and righteous honesty and help me seek your face with my heart not just my head but teach me what you really meant when in your word you said I would be a new creation with old things passed away a new creation learning to follow day by day give me strength to pursue your will help me run this race and let us always walk in the secret of true humility pouring out my life for you like Jesus I would be free my heart from chains of lust and selfish pride establish in my life your throne in your son come and abide 
ever be a new creation bringing pleasure to your heart a new creation what you have purposed from the start pouring out my life for you receiving yours by grace and may we always walk in the joy of this holy As I learn to trust your ways, as you and I walk through this life hidden away. In our secret So, Father, tonight we thank you, God, that there is strength in the secret place. Here, oh Trust in the name of the Lord. We 
will trust in the name of the Lord. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but we will trust in the name, 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 the name of the Lord. a strong high tower the name of the Lord is a strong high tower in quietness and confidence shall be your strength in returning and in resting, you shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In returning and in resting, you shall be saved. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. love you. God bless you. Shalom.